we overcame a lot to get to where we're at, so I think it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, from when I was a kid to where we are today, give all thanks to the Lord. It's, we couldn't do it without Him. I'm Karen Beachley Sowers. I am married to Mr. Randy Sowers since 1974. We started Sowers Dairy in 1981 and South Mountain Creamery in 2001. For the first 10 years, I did everything on the farm. Karen taught school and brought in the money to live off of, and we farmed and tried to make a go of it. And uh, most people thought we would never make it, but we proved them wrong on that one. <laughs> but the guy that we bought the farm from actually helped us a lot. I'm Ben Sowers. I'm Randy and Karen's son. I was one of the first employees here. I was born in 81, so they started in 81. So, <laughs> so I've been employed here forever. My name's Kate Sowers. I'm Ben's wife, so Randy and Karen are my mother and father-in-law. My role here is, I don't know, I kind of fill in and do a little bit of everything. I'm in charge of all the agriculture, the farm side of things. Growing up on the farm, it was slow times to me, you know. You know, you could go for four or five hours and the parents never know where you're at. You're up in the woods or in the pond. Or... I was definitely doing all kind of field work by nine or ten years old. My kids, you know, they argued because, you know, all their friends in school didn't have to come home and work. You know, they didn't have to do nothing when they got home. <laughs> so, so he'd bring friends along home and have them do the work. <laughs> when you have to like lift stuff that's like really heavy or when you just get bored like the boring parts aren't that fun but like feeding calves milking that's all fun they have chores they have to do after they get home from school you know one of them needs to feed calves the other one's down helping the milk or helping in the store or in the shop and then on the weekends, you know, going to farmer's markets with Randy and Karen and helping them. So, you know, that's a long day because they get up at like 4.30 and they're gone all day. And the people at the farmer's markets mm -hmm. really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. They miss the kids when they're not there. They wonder what they're doing and what they're up to. And those kids can talk to the people in their mind most anything. <laughs> South Mountain Creamery being part of the community is, I call it grassroots. We want to show how we care about our animals and what we do it for. And that's why we open ourselves up. I mean, we want to show the good and the bad. You know, people think that, you know, agriculture is not a good thing or milk's not a good thing. Every once in a while, there's a complaint, you know, and you got to take that complaint and try to make sure that everybody's educated. You know, we try to keep things clean and neat around here, but when you come here, you're going to see what farming's about. It's not going to be sugar-coated. But we like to answer questions that people have and try to educate them on what agriculture actually is. You know, we have friends that are all over and I mean, when you tell them about all natural products that's home delivered, they're just, you know, amazed by it. It was an idea from the early 90s. My sister wanted to have an on-farm processing plant. The glass bottle thing was just really, you know, cool to all of us to do. And <laughs> glass bottle milk delivered, really? We didn't think that was any more, and well, mm -hmm. that's why we brought it back. There was nobody that was doing that. And... My hope for the future is that, you know, one day the kids are gonna wanna be here and hopefully take over for us one day. My thing to them all the time is whatever you do in life, you know, working hard, being respected, and having a good work ethic will get you anywhere, any, you know, it doesn't have to be on the farm. And we love to let people come. We get 30,000 people a year here, and we get to teach each and every one of them about what agriculture is about. We just, you know, we want to be humble stewards of the land. <laughs>